Oh, they don't have the book I want here. Oh, hi. Well, on March 30th, many Canadians will be tuning into the Juno Awards to see the best that Canada has to offer in music. And this year, they're hitting a little bit closer to home as Danny Gonsalves met up recently with a nominee, Chilliwack's very own Inez Jasper. I waited a lifetime to feel your body, I feel you burn me down. That's the latest single from Chilliwack's pop sensation Inez Jasper. Her song Burn Me Down is the fourth track on her second studio album which also goes by the same name. It was recently announced that the album is up for a Juno nomination for Aboriginal Recording of the Year, making this the second Juno nomination for the local artist. It was amazing because with my first album, what I had done with my music, it wasn't initially music. What I had done is I started writing as a form of self-care. Um, friends that's what they did to take care of themselves, especially in tough times. It's a safe way of expressing yourself, opposed to turning to unsafe ways of um, expressing our self-care, like vices per se. But uh, I wrote the album and I recorded it uh, in a small studio in Vancouver and we pressed the album and thought, hey, there's an Aboriginal category, let's submit. And so really excited how far the music made it and excited that the fans were enjoying music. After the release of her first album, Sing Soul Girl, Inez has gained widespread recognition across the country. Winning four Aboriginal People's Choice Awards, such as Single of the Year and Best New Artist, the pop star has put all she's learned from her recent success into Burn Me Down. I've grown a lot. I've had a lot of opportunities to perform, travel in the Indian country, so to speak and as well in different cities. So I've got a lot of performance experience. I've got to meet a lot of other artists, non-native and, and native as well. To Inez, being able to perform across the country is a dream come true. However, widespread fame wasn't her intent. Hey, we're at the Junos and we're just about to pull up at the red carpet. And there are so many screaming fans here and it's gonna be so much fun. So check us out with pictures. It's really the fans and the community that have made, made the music go as far as it has. And without them, I wouldn't be where I am. And I do it for my people, do it for my community. With this album, I really wanted to target young, young women, tweens and teens, because I remember when I was 12 years old, jumping on my bed, singing in a hairbrush, um, at the top of my lungs, and just thinking, you know, if there was a First Nations artist that I could listen to on the radio or someone I could pop their CD on saying what that would have done for me. Even native or non-native, whether they're from your town, from your city, it's so inspiring and so I want to pay it forward. While Inez waits for the results of her Juno nomination, she continues to work hard promoting her new album and plans on announcing an unplugged performance at a future date. I do a lot of pop performances, but I want to perform with one acoustic player and show people the dynamic of the music, and so people can really hear the messaging in it. And the music will mean whatever it means to whoever is listening to it. It means something to me, it might mean something different to somebody else. As well, I am looking at different production teams. I've been talking with the production team from my last album. I've been songwriting a bit, so looking at where, where I'll go next. For Go Fraser Valley, I'm Danny Gonsalves. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Go Fraser Valley. I finally got a book to read. And you can send me your book suggestions to our Facebook page or Twitter profile. And you can send story ideas and community calendar events to go underscore Fraser Valley at shaw.ca. As for me, I got a lot of words to read. What is that one? <laughs>